Well, effective today in Missouri, a new law makes sleeping or camping on state-owned land illegal. The law also mentions funding for more resources, but the language has some shelters in our area concerned. Five on your side's Elise Shonig joins us now live with what this could mean for homeless shelters in Missouri. Elise. Well, I checked in with some shelters in our area who say there's definitely a need for more resources and funding, but this law has them worried that it could criminalize those without homes. Where will these individuals go? Where will they where will they find a safe place to be? City Hope St. Louis founder and CEO Michael Robinson is reacting to a new Missouri law. The law says sleeping or camping on state owned land is now illegal. Some of them, um, they're there because they don't fit into the traditional shelter care model. But Robinson says many without homes face mental health challenges and PTSD, turning them away from traditional shelters. We want to make sure that we don't criminalize homelessness. St. Patrick's Center CEO Anthony D'Agostino says he's worried about the way the bill could be implemented. No one wants to have a situation where people don't have a, a home, so they have to to encamp on state land. The law could provide more opportunities for funding and resources for unhoused populations across the state, something he says many can get behind. But he says the solutions to homelessness are clear. Creating more housing stock. Uh, giving more services to people and meeting them where they are, that's what's going to help decrease homelessness. Robinson agrees with these solutions. Be able to find appropriate shelter spaces as well as additional resources to those that are providing shelters. With more work to be done, Diagostino says they hope to meet with legislators so that the future of this law works toward the same goal. One thing that makes it harder to get housed is a criminal background. <laughs> so doesn't really make any sense if we want to all end homelessness to make it harder to get housing. Now, both CEOs told me that with this law and any potential winter weather, they anticipate their shelter shelters will have a lot more people. So it's during this time they're encouraging more volunteers and any other help from the community. Live here in St. Louis, Elise Schoenig, five on your side.